outfit of the day today is heading out for a quick shop. Can you believe it's the middle of February here in Australia? It's normally scorching. I know I've said this before, but like you have no idea how unusual this is. So I'm wearing a jacket. I will probably have it off by the time I get out of the car. I have this new Zara knit that I just bought yesterday and it's just so thin and smooth and luscious. And then I have on my Karen Millen denim skirt, which I haven't worn for a while. And of course my favorite boot, my Jo Mercer suede. Over the top, this cost per wear is insane. It's a top shop jersey blazer, most stunning fabric and fabulous color. It's such a gorgeous fit. I do wish it had a button, but I'm thinking I might add a little hook and eye here at some stage, just so I can bring it in if I want to. But otherwise I'm loving this relaxed look. Zara belt, Camp Maggi bag, and a fabulous pair of sunnies. And I'm ready to rock and roll. Now, what am I doing? Where am I going? Well, I've decided that I want to go to the Salvos and to Material Pleasures in Fish Week, which does secondhand designer wear. I haven't bought much this year and uh, I just need an outing. I need to get out and see some beauty. So I'm going to see what I can find and I might update this video and show you what I found when I get back. All right, I'll check you later. I'm back. I went to the Salvos and I went to Dos Emporium and I went to Material Pleasures. And I have a few finds. Want to see? Okay then. Oh, and I have my hair up because it's a write off today and after trying all those clothes, it was a mess. Okay, let me show you. So I got two items from Material Pleasures. I actually was crushing on a beautiful navy Oxford bag, a leather one. It was a really retro shape. Kind of wish I got that instead of these two tops now. <laughs> Um, they wouldn't go down in price, you know, and uh, so I said no, got to be strong. Um, this is beautiful. It's an extra, 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 extra small and it fits me beautifully, believe it or not. So it must be hugely oversized and it's just the most scrummy colour and that beautiful thick stretchy fabric that holds you in. And what I love about it is this panelling here over the belly and, uh, and it's got a really nice shoulder and then you can wrap this around the back and bring it round to the front and it looks really gorgeous. So I thought for a layering piece would be fantastic. And then uh, I don't actually have a navy striped knit or even a long sleeve top. So I saw this Gant one, it's 100% wool and it was just such a bargain. It's in immaculate condition. It's a really nice fit. So I just thought, look, I'll get that because I will get wear out of it. I bought a beautiful navy trench and, uh, and a few other navy pieces last year and uh, it's nice to have something that I can wear with those. Now for the salvos. I shall dive into my bag of treasure and the first one is this skirt. It's metallic, it's sort of a putty colour and it's a good length, it just hits my knee, I wouldn't want it any shorter. The brand is Diana Ferrari and uh, this is a size 10. Oh, it fits really beautifully and uh, I'm just loving the streamlined effect of it. And I think this would be a fantastic layering piece in winter with long coats over it and just that lovely little ruffle picking up the bottom. And being such a neutral, it's gonna go with everything, of course, and it was 12 bucks. Right, what next? Ooh, exciting. All right, you won't even believe this. This morning, I woke up and I thought, I'll just check out eBay. <laughs> And I was looking at this Sasson Bide denim jacket and I think it was about $45, $50 or something. And just beautiful. And uh, then I went into <laughs> the Salvos and there it was. It's a, it's a size 12, so it's got some room in it, which is good to put knits under. Um, it's just beautiful. It was $20. I'll put it on. Okay, so it's actually a lot more fitted than I thought it would be for a size 12. Uh, it has um, a really slim arm, not too bad. I mean, it, you probably don't want to wear a knit under it like I am doing, but I love the sleeves. That's what I was admiring online. They've got this sort of split here and more of a fluted sleeve. And of course you can bring it up as well and do all manner of folds with it. So I just thought it was gorgeous. And um, sorry if I'm a bit breathless. <laughs> I'm a little bit uh, chesty at the moment. Um, and this collar is just exquisite and of course Sass and Bard are known for their beautiful uh, detailing and look how gorgeous this is. Attempt to do it now. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired today. 
That's why I've taken a little break from work because I'm just a bit exhausted. Hang on a sec. Okay, anyway, you get the idea. It has a lovely, lovely shape. Loving these little detail pockets. Such a beautiful piece. And uh, $20 worth going to the salvos. All right, let's see what else I have got in this magic bag of tricks. Ooh, this is really nice. So, this is a, I think it was, was it Witchery? Uh, French Connection. It's a size 12. I didn't try it on, it was only $12. So I thought, oh, what the hay, you know, and if it's, if it's too big, I would probably end up, um, I could run a seam or just take the waist in a little. But I love the shape of it. Um, I'm not dying over the colour. I mean, it's, I think once I winterize, it'll look fantastic. I do prefer other leopard colours to this. Uh, but it's just such a lovely, soft, stretchy fabric. It would be so comfortable. I don't have a lot of pencil skirts because of my body shape. But um, it has room on the hip and I just think it's really gorgeous. And for $12, you know. <laughs> so that came home with me. And I think is that almost it? Oh yeah, and the last one, I know, another denim jacket. I only have 400 denim jackets. This one was again $20 and it's vintage. So it's G Shape Original Jeans. I don't know if you've heard of them. Might be an American brand or something, I don't know. But I got it because it is just divine. It has the most gorgeous color. It's like a faded indigo, you know that steel blue sort of color? And check out the shape, I'll put it on. It's not gonna look that great with the denim skirt, but I just wanted to show you the shape of it. It's almost tunic-like. I love the retro sort of collar. I love this uh, paneling, this detail here, the pockets here, the metal buttons. It does have belt loops for the waist, but they are quite high. They're sort of up here and my waist is here. But that's okay because I can always belt it in up there and make my legs look longer. And you know that I never argue with that possibility. <laughs> so let's just try it with the belt now. If I put it up where the belt loops are. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's And it's such a great length, like really will you get a denim jacket that's not relatively cropped. So I just loved the shape of it and I thought I could wear it sort of like a blazer as well and then of course I could roll up the sleeves if need be. Isn't it beautiful? So it's worth going in and seeing what you can find. $20. Just amazing. So there you go. That is my little cheer me up uh, shop up. Love to buy vintage. Love to give back, you know, and love to save from landfill. So there you go. Couldn't resist showing you the skirts. I thought I'd just quickly try them on and see what they're like. So this is the French Connection. You can see that this is a 12. You can see that it does have a lot of room in the waist and the side here. And for a skirt like this, what I would do, I would not just run down the side seam. What I would do is I'd do the two darts over the butt. So you can see this skirt already has those here. So I'd just follow them along and create two more darts and I take them in just to the um, widest point of my butt. And so if you have, like me, a bit of butt and thigh and small waist, I think that's a good way to take in a pencil skirt. But it's a fabulous length. It's lined. It's so comfortable. It's got a slight stretch. The length is just superb for my body type. So I'm really delighted with that. And now let me try the uh, other one on the Diana Ferrari. And here is the Dana Ferrari. It's really beautiful. This is a 10. It's a little big in the waist. You know, every brand has its own sizing. Why can't they have a standardized sizing across the world as well, mind you? Uh, lovely fit, great length. Would have been nice slightly, slightly longer, but I think this will be a beautiful layering piece in winter. I'm wearing it back to front because I have something to tell you. I wanted to iron this before I showed you and I have never burned a hole in a piece of clothing in my life and I've just done that to this skirt. <gasps> oh, I, 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 I'm so disappointed. I almost don't even want to show you. It's awful. Have a look at this. It's not really... <laughs> it's not repairable. It's shocking. It's, I'm devastated. <laughs> Lucky it only cost me $12. I don't know why my iron heats, um, you know, heats normally, but I literally turned it on 
and then what I do is I just do a quick dab to test and it had only been on like a few seconds it must have heated up super quickly I don't know anyway I'm still going to wear it but I'll just wear it in winter back to front with a coat over so we can hide this section what a shame anyway just had to show you and I hope you get op shopping pretty soon it's always a treasure trove